Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers, chapter 31. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel of the Midianites. Afterward shalt thou be gathered unto thy people. <laughs> You're going to die, Moses. And Moses spake unto the people, saying, Arm, your, arm some of yourselves unto war, and let them go against the Midianites, and avenge the Lord of Midian. Let's go back to Numbers 25 real quick. Interesting chapter in Israel's life. <coughs> yeah, chapter 25, And Israel bowed and shit them, and the people began to commit whoredoms with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto sa of the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat and bow down to their gods. And Israel joined himself on the Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. Remember, this is the gods of the dead, scripture with scripture. Now verse 6, And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses. And then verse 18, the last verse of this chapter, And they vexed you with their wiles. Within they have beguiled you to the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Kozai, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, which was slain in the day of the plague of Peor's sake. So there's what the Lord's talking about. All that mess that happened. Of every tribe, a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel shall, shall ye send to war. It'd be 12,000 men of every tribe. So there were delivered out of the, of the thousands of Israel, a thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them to the war, a thousand of every tribe, them and Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, to war, through the war, with the holy instruments and the trumpets to blow in his hand. So this is where they get that jihad. Right here. It's a holy war. But it is a war against sinners. You know, you know, people say, well, God said, thou shalt not kill. Well, what do you do here? What do you do when Joshua goes in the land? God says, you, you kill every single one of them people in that land. And yet the law says, if, you know, there are people outside the land, you can make peace with them. God has a war against people that sin, and we'll see a more understanding as we go further in this chapter. But here God's telling them, kill them. And this is where you get people with their religious wars. This is where you get the Catholic Church. This is where you get the Muslims. We'll see God's for war. You mean a church killing Christians, carrying a Bible, and preaching to people the gospel? They're the enemy? Meanwhile, while you're buying off, selling off, and doing everything anti-Bible, you're the good ones? No, it's reversed. And they warred against the Midianites as the Lord commanded Moses. And they slew all the males. And they slew the kings of Midian, beside the rest of them that were slain. Namely, Evi, and Rechem, and Zer, and Hur, and Reba, five kings of Midian. Balaam, the son of Beor, there he is, they slew with the sword. That's Balaam, chapter 25, chapter 24, 23, and 22. There he is. He dies amongst the people. that He got fame. We'll read more about him in a minute. And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives, 
Remember what we read in 25? Mm -hmm. Those women were dedicated to Peor. And it made God P.O.'d. Hey, I like that. Took all the women captives and, they, and their little ones. And took the spoil, all their cattle, all their flocks, and all their goods. And they burnt all the cities wherein they dwell. Notice all the sinful, wicked cities God leaves in ashes and fire. Jerusalem was left in ashes and fire and destruction. America is abound in her sins. England is abound in her sins. Italy is abound in her sins. They will be left in complete rubble before the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Now, the great city, great earthquakes will be coming. So they built, they burnt all their cities wherein they dwelt, and all their goodly castles with fire. And they took all the spoil. And they burnt all their cities there and dwelt, and all their goodly castles in fire. And they took all the spoil and all the prey, both of men and of beasts. And they brought the captives, should have been none, and the prey and the spoil unto Moses and Eleazar the priest, and unto the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the camp at the, at the plains of Moab, which are by the Jordan near Jericho. And Moses and, and Eleazar the priest, I always want to say Aaron now, Moses and Eleazar the priest, and all the princes of the congregation went forth to meet them without the camp. So you got the armies coming, Moses, Eleazar, and the captains, they're going. Moses, Eleazar, and the princes have no idea what just happened. And Moses was wroth with the officers of the host, the army, with the captains over thousands and the captains over hundreds, which came from the battle. And Moses said unto them, Have you saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel, through the consul of Balaam, that's the doctrine of Balaam. All right, so here's the doctrine of Balaam. To commit trespass against the Lord, Lord in the matter of Peor, that's the fallen God. That's the God of the dead. That we read about the Halloween trick or treat, get dressed. There was a plague among the congregation of the children of Israel, and that's in chapter 25. You read the whole. So, what did Balaam teach? He said, Get Peor, the God involved in Israel, get the women to have sexual relations. And it was so good, these soldiers carried the women back where Finnehaz, I believe it was Finnehaz, is the one that stabbed the. The woman right through her belly with the, the Jewish man. And the plague stopped, the Bible records. So they grabbed those same very women. So you see how far the doctrine of Balaam is going even after the plague. Ooh, these women are great. No, these women are, sell, says Peor. You found this in Corinth. You had, it's what you call vestal virgins. Women dedicated to the gods. Now watch what Moses says. Now this is Moses. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones. Oh, isn't that bad? Those little boys are a threat that when they grow up, they may be want to take avenge on what you did to their fathers. Sort of like a jihad. And kill every woman that has not known man by lying with him. That has lines. And this is not only adultery, but this these are women that been, the men have given themselves to Peor. But all the women, children, children, that have not known a man by lying with him, virgins, keep alive for yourself. Probably the fact is that you, maybe they haven't learned of the ways of Peor. And I believe you find Deuteronomy 21 10 where he talks about taking a woman captive. I believe that's that passage. She used to pair her nails. And, and do ye abide without the camp seven days? Now, this is Numbers 19 when you talked about the red heifer. Anybody that touched a, a dead body, touches a bone of a body, they had to go and they get sprinkled seven days and in three days. 
to cleanse themselves. This is what's going on now. Do ye abide without the camp? Don't come into the camp. Seven days. Whosoever has killed any person, and whosoever has touched any slain, purify both yourselves and your captives on the third day and on the seventh day. Numbers 19. Purify all your raiment. You may have got blood on yourself. Skin. And all that is made of skins, anything uh, animal, and all work of goat's hair, and all things made of wood. Got Leviticus 15, 12, here's a note. And Eliezer the priest said unto the men of war, which went to battle. Now watch, Eliezer steps right in. He's on the ball. This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord commanded Moses. Eliezer knows the law. Probably rehearsed it. Only the gold and the silver, the brass, the iron, the tin, and the lead. See, they knew about metallurgy. They weren't stupid. Tin. They knew about it and lead. Everything that may abide by the fire. So, these things can go through the fire without dying. And it shall and you can't put the wood through the fire because it'll start burning up. But the metal you can put through the fire, you put it through a cleansing. Go through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall be purified with the water of separation. That's numbers 19. And all that body is not the fire. If you can't put it in the fire, you shall make go through the water. And you shall wash your clothes on the seventh day. You shall be clean. And afterwards you shall come into the camp. That's all Numbers 19 put into practice. Eliezer leads it. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Take the sum of the prey that was taken, both of man and of beast, thou and Eliezer the priest, and the chief fathers of the congregation, and divide the prey into two parts. Between them that took the war upon them, who went out to battle, and between all the congregation. So here we see like David, he that tarries by the stuff and he that goes to battle, you share it amongst the thing, everybody. And this happens with the law of soul winning and doing a ministry. Not everybody can go out in the field, but there are people who pray, there are people who do things behind the scenes, and they get rewarded just as much as the person that took part. I mean, if you've got a guy who goes knocking on doors, well, you got home, you got a, a five month young baby at home that you you know you can't take care of, and mom's gotta stay home and take care of that baby while you go knock on doors. What God's so cruel she's not gonna get nothing? If she's home praying, reading her Bible, taking care of her children, like the Bible says, is unable to go with him. David says, hey, those people were too tired. They couldn't go. They couldn't go into battle. They, was just so, they had to stay behind. They watched the stuff. And we share it with them, the work. And leave, levy a tribute unto the Lord of the men of war, which went out to battle. One soul... Of 500 both of the persons and of the breeds beads excuse me and of the asses and of the sheep take it of their half and give it unto Eliezer the priest for a heave offering unto the Lord so the Lord gets his portion and of the children of Israel's half children of Israel are going to get some thou shalt take one portion of 50 of the persons, of the bees, of the asses, and of the flocks, all manner of beasts, and give them unto the Levites, which keep the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord. Levites get their half. And Moses, Eliezer, the priest, did as the Lord commanded Moses. And the booty, there's the word booty, being the rest of the prey, which the men of war had caught, that's interesting. Caught was six hundred thousand and seventy thousand and five thousand sheep, 
and three score and 12,000 beads. And three score and 1,000, that's a lot. Imagine how many animals that is. And 32,000 persons, people in all, of women that had not known man by lying with him. With him. So 32,000 women. And a half, which was the portion of them that went out to war, was in number 300,000, 7, and 30,000, and 500 sheep. Now, look how well God's keeping track of the books, the numbers. Look how well to the very number of what's going on here, that God is a great bookkeeper. And God has no trouble and no problem recording what we do by our numbers. Whatever time, money, effort, days, cash, credit, whatever we do, whatever we get is recorded somewhere by God of our life. And the book of Numbers and the book of Chronicles shows that. Verse 37. And the Lord's tribute of the sheep was 600 Three score and fifteen. God keeps track what you give him. And the beeves were thirty and six thousand, of which the Lord tribute was three score and twelve. And the asses were thirty thousand and five hundred, of which the Lord's tribute was three score and one. And the persons were sixteen thousand, of which the Lord's tribute was thirty and two persons. Some of those women that were saved alive went into the Lord. To be servants. And Moses gave the tribute which was the Lord's heave offering unto Eliezer and the priest as the Lord commanded Moses. And the children of Israel's half which Moses divided from the men that warred. Now the half that pertaineth unto the congregation was three hundred thousand and thirty thousand and seven thousand and five hundred sheep. And thirty and six thousand beeves, and thirty thousand asses, and five hundred, and sixteen thousand persons. Even of the children of Israel's half, Moses took one portion of fifty, both of man and of beast, and gave them unto the Levites, which kept the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. So they deserve to get paid. And the officers which were over thousands of the hosts, these are the army men, and captains of the thousands, and captains of the hundred, came near to Moses. Here comes the military men that went into Midian and conquered. And they come up to Moses. Believe. And they said unto Moses, Thy servants have taken the son of the men of war, which are under our charge, and there lack not one man of us. That war with the Midianites, when they came back to the camp of Moses, the camp of the Lord, and the camp of Israel, when they counted their soldiers, they had 12,000. They left with 12,000. Not one man died in that battle. So what do those captains, what do those military leaders do? We have therefore brought an oblation up for the Lord. For every man has gotten the jewels of gold, chains, and bracelets, rings, earrings, tablets, to make an atonement for our souls before. They were so glorifying God, they gathered up the collection and said, we're giving it to God. And Moses and Eliezer the priest took the gold of them, even all wrought jewels. Wrought means is what is made. Those jewels were made. They were engraved. They were designed. And all the gold of the offering that they offered offered up to the Lord of the captains of thousands, the captains of hundreds. And look at this. God's going to tell you how much. 16,750 shekels. For the men of war had taken spoil, every man for himself. And what they took from the battle, what they took from dead bodies, what they taken from people's houses and all that, they took a collection among that collection and said, God, you spared all 12,000 of us. And Moses and Eliezer, the priests, took the gold of the captains of thousands. Now this is besides what we already read about. 
This is an additional offering from the military men. The captains of thousands of hundreds and brought it into the tabernacle of the congregation for a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord. And this all happened. Many knights are killed, are destroyed because of one man that you find in this chapter, and his name is Balaam. And we just, we learned that in this chapter, what we read about also in Numbers 25 was a complete death of Israelites because of Baal and his doctrine in the Midianites. 